Really the hardest part with wanting to get in shape and wanting to eat right, it's just starting, but sometimes you don't know where to start. So my advice is just believe in yourself. You're always gonna be right, you're always gonna be your own biggest advocate. You're there to inspire you and you're there to motivate yourself. Hi, I'm Sarah Stage. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I am a personal trainer, and I'm a fitness lover. Being healthy as a mother uh, is very important. You want to live a long life for your kids, and you want to be able to keep up with your children. I mean, having two boys, I'm always having to run after them, and I want to be a part of their life. I want them to look back when they were playing sports, and me helping them and being right there with them, keeping up with them. The reason why we had kind of prolonged maybe having kids was because I was doing just the print modeling, and I was concerned how I could bring in income for our family, so social media has been such a blessing because I was able to be pregnant and share my journey what you know before after during having kids and now that I have two kids I'm able to work from home include my kids you know show people a little piece of my life As a mother, you are the core of your family, so to be healthy and set the example, you're setting the standard for your entire family. And they're gonna set those examples for their children, and it's so important for me to set a great example for my kids. Like every other pregnant woman, I was just so excited to share my pregnancy journey on Instagram with my followers, and I just started posting, you know, my reveal and bump photos. Literally overnight, it just went viral, and it was something that I didn't anticipate for. I remember being at my mom's house, and she had her bunko game going on, and then there was a knock at the door, and we thought it was one of her friends that was running late, but it was actually a news reporter. I don't even know how they found her address. And so that's sort of when I realized things were getting a little bit more out of control than we had anticipated just for it being a photo on my Instagram. Sometimes people, when they see something that they've never seen before, it can be interpreted as a negative situation um, when really people don't have the full knowledge and understanding behind it. And I think that's what was happening. Maybe there were a few people that were confused or concerned even though they weren't uh, doctors or in a position to be concerned. But then what also happened was I had a lot of women who supported me and I started getting all of these questions. Um, women, they needed help, they wanted to get in shape, they wanted to have a fit pregnancy. And so they actually really inspired me to gain more knowledge to help them. So I decided to you know, get certified as a personal trainer and really come up with a program that helps women get in shape. So that way I felt a lot more comfortable giving advice when I had done my research. And it really kind of sparked a passion in me to help other women. When you're pregnant, there's not really a whole lot of like leveling things out for yourself because you have your hormones and your emotions and everything. And you just have to, it's like tunnel vision, you just have to focus on the end goal that's gonna be positive and that the outcome is gonna be great. And everything else is just, you know, it's a distraction, so you really have to stay focused on the positive. What I've learned about myself is how strong I've become, and you can really just, especially becoming a mother, you can get through anything. My biggest inspiration, they're my kids. They inspire me. They don't even know that they inspire me. I always get emotional talking about it just because they're my everything. I work hard for them. <laughs> It's just day by day, it's just trying to be, I've, I'm not really organized, but I've learned to become a lot more organized. And having kids, you just have to plan everything out. The reason why I created these fitness guides and everything was to kind of break it down for women because really the hardest part, it's just starting, but sometimes you don't know where to start. So my advice is just take it step by step. You have to just be consistent. And in order to be consistent, you have to have a game plan. Literally mapping out your day, and that turns into your week, your month, and that's the only way to do it is like hour by hour you have to block it out for everything. I mean I think everybody doubts themselves at some point but I think the key to get through the doubt is just to listen to yourself. You have to really go with your gut and that will never steer you wrong. Everyone else comes secondary to really believing in yourself because you have to have that core confidence that you can do it and you're gonna do it.
Hey guys, this is Sarah Stage. Thanks again for watching. Make sure that you like and you subscribe and you comment below. Bye!